Hey everyone, I have a quick word to share today. And today's word is, you're a bright light exposing darkness. You are a bright light exposing darkness. And today's scripture reference, I've actually got five. The first one is Proverbs 21, 15, and it reads, when justice is done, it is a joy to the righteous, but terror to evildoers. And the next scripture reference is Proverbs 28, 15, and it reads, Evil people don't understand justice, but those who follow the Lord understand completely. And the next scripture reference is Job 12, 22, and it reads, He uncovers mysteries hidden in darkness. He brings light to the deepest gloom. And the next scripture reference is Matthew 5, 38 through 39, and it reads, You have heard the law that says the punishment must match the injury, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say, do not resist an evil person. If someone slaps you on the right cheek, offer the other cheek also. And then the last scripture reference is Romans 12, 19, and it reads, Dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take revenge. I will pay them back, says the Lord. So for many of you, you have the light of Jesus Christ shining through you. And because you have this light shining in around you, through you, it's naturally going to expose darkness around you. Um, and many of you are speaking up against this darkness. And while the enemy likes to keep, keep things hidden, because if he can operate in a hidden way, then, you know, he can flourish. But when uh, the light exposes his darkness, he has to flee. So many of you are uh, allowing Jesus Christ to work through you to um, illuminate some of the darkness around you. And these scripture references, you know, all speak to that. Proverbs 21, 15, when justice is done, it's a joy to the righteous, but terror to evildoers. People who are operating under a spirit um, from the enemy, they don't want to be exposed, you know, and they will use control and manipulation to try to take that bright light off of them. But, you know, you know the devil's playbook, you know these tactics, and it doesn't work on you. The, the gaslighting, the manipulation, it doesn't work on you. And the Lord has taught you how to shut that down. Um, Proverbs 28, 5, evil people don't understand justice, but those who follow the Lord understand completely. Many of you, the Holy Spirit has led you into all truth. The Holy Spirit has been exposing people to you in your dreams, through your spirit and visions. He's been showing those people around you who haven't had your back. You know, when some of these people who claim to be um, for you have even, you know, um, joined forces with some of your enemies. And that's what these spirits do. You know, they have to gang up on you. And so they will even... Um, join forces with somebody who in the past they know this person is an enemy of yours they know this person um you know has abused you and attacked you in the past and they and they entertain this person and and go back and forth about you and and discussing your personal business with someone who they know your is your enemy and that is not the holy spirit that's another spirit and when you try to speak the truth to these people, they don't understand because it says evil people don't understand justice, but those who follow the Lord understand completely. Many of you have been, you know, exposing this darkness. Like I said, you've been calling out these things that um, <clears throat> the enemy wants to keep hidden. Job 20, 12, 22, he uncovers mysteries hidden in darkness. He brings light to the deepest gloom. The Holy Spirit is all about exposing darkness in this hour. The, he's separating the wheat from the tares. And, you know, it's harvest season and people are reaping what they've sown. If you've been sowing good seed, you've, you've been reaping good 
a good harvest. Have you been sowing bad seed? Well, you probably have been reaping a bad harvest. And of course, you know, the Holy Spirit wants to remind us that while he's using you to expose this darkness, you know, he's using you as a vessel, you know, it's not your job to take revenge. As it says here in Matthew 5, 38 through 39, uh, you have heard the law that says, the punishment must match the injury, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say, do not resist an evil person. If someone slaps you on the right cheek, offer the other cheek also. And of course, this is Jesus Christ speaking. Now, that doesn't mean that we're going to stay and let them beat us up and go back and slap the other cheek and then go back and, you know, keep smacking us around. The Lord wants us to set healthy boundaries with people. And now while we do forgive them, you know, and we can love and honor people from afar, especially parents or family members, that doesn't mean that we have to let them continue to beat us up. You know, of course, um, you know, it's not your job to get revenge on these people. The Lord is using you to expose darkness. He's using the Holy Spirit uh, to reveal these things, but he doesn't expect you, nor does he want you to take revenge on these people. In fact, he's calling you to forgive these people just as Christ has forgiven you. And he wants you to heal and move forward in your life. And then of course, Romans 12, 19, it just backs this um, by saying, dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take revenge. I will pay them back, says the Lord. So you don't really need to worry about anything. You don't need to um, do anything other than what the Lord is calling you to do. You know, many of you, the Lord has called you to speak some of these uncomfortable truths around you. And you've been obedient. And the Lord is now asking you to... Um, Forgive these people and move forward with your life and heal. You know, you can love people from afar. Forgiving them doesn't mean that you need to break bread with them, that you need to, um, you know, continue to stay in a toxic situation. The Lord does not want that for you. But it does mean that, you know, we don't want to harbor bitterness or resentment. We want to love people from afar. We want to forgive them. And it really is for you so that, you know, the enemy doesn't have his hooks in you. Because when you have unforgiveness in your heart, you're giving the enemy legal rights to you. So it's really in your best benefit to make the choice. You know, forgiveness isn't necessarily a feeling. It's a decision. It's a decision to forgive somebody and that you are not going to allow what those people did to you or what that person did to you to dictate the rest of your life. You know, you're not going to live in bitterness and as an unhealed person and hurting others around you because of, you know, the what was done to you in your past. Because the Lord, you know, can't really utilize you if you're walking around as an unhealed hurt person. So that, for many of you, that's why he's exposing this darkness around you. He wants you to be aware of what's going on. Many of you have been blind to this because of, you know, for whatever reason. Maybe it was people who you've known your whole life who you just were putting your best qualities on that group of people. But when you look at the fruit, Look at the fruit of the situation and the fruit of these people. It tells a different story. And we know it says in Proverbs, guard your heart for it determines the course of your life. And so the Lord is asking you today to guard your heart, move forward. Of course, forgive these people. You know, let the Lord continue to use you as he sees fit. He's given you all divine instructions. Just continue with following his instructions. And you're in Psalm 91 protection. So you don't have to worry about anything. You know, if these people um, don't repent, who've been exposed, it's up to the Lord to deal with them how he sees fit. And we just need to pray for these people that the Lord's divine will is done in their lives. So again, I'm not sure who this message is for today, but I want to just thank you all for subscribing, for um, liking, commenting, sharing these videos. All of you who've sown so uh, generously into this ministry, who've partnered with me financially, I can't thank you enough. It really allows me to uh, focus on missions and ministry work here in the Dominican Republic.
where there is such a need for the Lord's light. And I know that's a big part of my calling is to spread the Lord's love and light here in the Dominican Republic. So thank you so much. When you partner with me, you are also partnering with the Lord and what he's doing here in this country. So just know that I, I love you all so much with, with the love of Christ. I pray for you all every day. I pray that the right people receive these messages at the right time. And again, I love you with the love of Christ and stay blessed.